Truth be told, I was never really a big movie buff. Although I do know that in the fifth Star Wars movie, The Empire Strikes Back, Darth Vader says the iconic line of Luke, I am your father. It's literally had countless merchandise and memes from it. But he didn't actually say that. Let me explain. In 1980, the president of South Africa, Nelson Mandela, died with his funeral being taped on live television. However, that didn't happen. Nelson Mandela died in 2013. And people started noticing that they remembered clearly that they were able to see his death being videotaped live on TV, his own funeral. But how do people remember this? How do hundreds of thousands of people remember his death that never happened. And it's a little phenomenon known as the Mandela Effect. The Mandela Effect, as it's known, is basically states that what a person was thought to be true for years now has actually turned out to be false. When I was a kid, I used to read a lot. Uh, my mom and my grandparents would read me a book you might have heard called The Berenstein Bears. It's not actually called the Berenstain Bears. It's called the Berenstain Bears with a A-I, not a E-I, like we all thought it was. But that is just one of hundreds of other accounts. There are literally thousands of them. You know, Curious George, right? The monkey with a tail who would swing from trees. He never had a tail. Or, you know, Mr. Moneybags from Monopoly, you know, he had his nice black suit his money bags, and his monocle. Never had a monocle. And as the theory states, the reason why we now realize why all of these past events are completely inaccurate to what we believe in is because of dimension hopping. And here's why. That's just all in your head. My first bit of evidence here is simply Hundreds of people traveling to the same dimension and remembering the same exact things while some other people don't remember it being that way. The likelihood of that is extremely low. And in fact, there was actually no scientific evidence of that even being such thing. There has to be a bit more evidence to that than just, oh, that's what I thought I remembered happened. Now I'm going to show you some circumstantial and factual evidence. In fact, I have it with me right now. Here, take a look at this video. If your bitch breaks down, don't you come and me. Stop. What did those cars just do? Did they A, bump? Did they B, collide? Or did they C, smash? You have five seconds. Time's up. Okay. There's no right answers to that. Some people might have said A, some people might have said B, some people might have said C. Why is that circumstantial to the Mandela Effect? Number one, different people like to fill in different things. You could have a sentence, the blank ball bounced high. What would you put before that? Many people, you could literally put anything in there. In fact, there is an entire game called Blank Slate. It's actually really fun. Uh, go play it if you haven't already. Now, different people would put different things into that blank for many different reasons. The big one is context. Context is extremely important. It's why when we think of Curious George as having a tail, it's because Curious George is a monkey. Monkeys have tails. Monkeys swing with their tails. Why doesn't Kiri Shorish have one? And that is a good question. Uh, but I do not make the character, therefore I can't answer that. Uh, context also applies to our Darth Vader scene. In the context, it would make sense for him to say, Luke, I am your father. It just sounds better than, no, I am your father. It has to do with filling in that blank. Now there's also something known as familiar imaging. 
Now, it's basically the process of seeing one image or object and seeing a completely new image that you have never seen before, but it looking familiar. Like this. Have you seen this TV before? This is a black and white portable television. Now, to some of you, this may look familiar. Why? You have seen a TV that looks like this before, just much larger. And that's what I thought about a month ago. And why? It simply has to do with how our brain works. Those images look familiar because of primal instinct. Take a look at this. What's that? That's a bear, or specifically a grizzly bear. And that is a polar bear. They are, in fact, polar opposites. They don't look alike at all, apart from their body formation. But yet, they're both bears. And we both know that they signify danger. And that's why looking at this image looks familiar. Now, scientists class the Mandela effect as being false memory. And really, that's all it is. It's simply jogged up memory. And that's all I have time for today. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope everyone enjoyed. And stay on the flip side. Oh, and like and subscribe.